Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. ...and put it to better use than they did. Bend your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking! Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build! At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons more know we are here, but the monasteries will be well gone. Ah, but nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Strike up a tune. strength.
break me. Almost there. Give me a hand with this. Something going on. Oh, no! Round or three! It was a good day and some fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain Stay there up. aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, oh, I think. Nah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived. No, no, you missed them. Let the they attacked from the forest. Sing, my radiance. So soon, and we good news, I hope. I think so. Ah, this is wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> Hello, and well met.
Sunin, guide me. Hytham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. It's a fight. What is it you do here again? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? I will see you later, friend. Until next we meet. Like living in the longhouse, I feel like a Jarl. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. letterbox for messages and requests. A bed better than many I've slept in. ...and a good place to recover. Hmm... ...not much... ...but it is mine. at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dad, please. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Look at me. Look at these arms. I am a beast. What was that about? 
Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. Can you remind me what you do here? As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. But for the moment, I'm a little stuck. If you could build me a stable, I can set up shop. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. I'm off. Bye, Eivor. Survey. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. What have you got for me today? Nothing more today. Take care. Until next time. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. I trust you on any horse now. else I must take make sure you talk to your raven regularly they like that
I should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. There you are. You wanted to see me? As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Tell me more about Leatherchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north, on the River Trent. May I see your stores? They're off. Can't raise the sail yet. Let's have a song. Sail! Catch the wind! Catch the wind!
Sing us a song. Save it for later. Not right now. prayed on the St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned.
Sing us a song. Praise the man. Hey, Run up the sail. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Tower. A challenger approaches! Oh, bless! Step back, Dane. I am sworn to this lady, and unafraid to kill the likes of you. No more! I yield! Find another champion, lady! Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My Thane! What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no. It was only a game. A romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger. And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you are joking. Please! You must fight for me! Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector. Stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly! Trouble coming. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Huh? Well, now, I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. Time has come for you. Have you 
heard me tell the tale of the six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You showed them how to turn the crosses into hammers simply by flipping them over. They fainted with joy. That tale? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Can't sail out. Big Sorry's my place. Is there a sea scold above you? Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aid. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak hard arms. On a raid in Corland, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to People Parks, a large farm. It was night, and all were asleep. So we set about plundering the place in the quiet of evening, taking sheep and goats as we pleased. It was then that Ael saw a farmhand and pressed the boy for the family's hidden silver. The farmhand squawked like a crow. Being hid beneath an anvil at the smith's forge, the silver was no trouble to lift. In secret, we took it and the boy back to the ship. It was then that Ael grew sad. For when the farmers woke with the crack of day, they would know they had been robbed, not by whom. So Ale ordered three of us to follow him back to the sleep hushed hamlet. As we burnt the houses, Ale shouted his name I am Ale, son of Scatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your life. I never sailed with Ale again. <laughs> Sigurd should be here with Arachnesons.
Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 